This is basically the Dakar Europe, which is inspired by the famous Dakar Rally. As you can see, breathtaking designs, amazing knobbly wheels, bonnet structures, as shown here for the first time today. And this is the Marilyn Evoque. Beautiful paintwork by, by legendary artist Paul Carslake. See the amazing uh, paintwork design on, on that. And also here comes Paul himself, showing some amazing work on the Harley Davidson as well. Thanks, Paul. So guys, first of all, we've got the uh, Bentley the Continental GT Speed here. Beautiful car. Can we have a few words, actually? Have you enjoyed the event, sir? Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. And um, you come back to Sun of Prevo year and you're out. Why is that? Yes, because it's the best presentation of both cars, I think, very nearly in the world. Couldn't have said that better myself. I'll see you later, definitely. Thank you. Okay, next is their all-new Continental GTC Speed. One of my favourites. 616 brake horsepower. 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds. It is a beautiful, not even a 2 plus 2, it's a proper 4 seater, isn't it? It's, it's phenomenal. Uh, the 0 to 60 is 4 seconds, which makes, puts it in the proper supercar league. Uh, but it looks fantastic, doesn't it? See, that's Wikipedia for you, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, now this is very, very special indeed. Did you know a four-door saloon is capable of 200 miles an hour plus? This is the all-new Bentley Flying Spur, six-liter, twin-turbocharged, 12-cylinder engine, 0 to 60. I'm going to ask the man driving for that one. Uh, yeah, very good car, yeah, 0 to 60. Uh, very quick is what I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell him. 4.6 seconds, thank you. Okay, so now we have Ferrari coming through. With their award-winning F12 Berlinetta, the most powerful, high-performance Ferrari ever built. And the power on this one is? 740. Top speed? Over 200. <laughs> and 0 to 60? 3.4. There you go. Amazing car, the F12 Berlinetta. <laughs> Followed now by the next V12 from Ferrari, the FF. The extreme sports car, performance from a beautiful Grand Tourer. A few words about this one? Well, this is a uh, four-door, four-wheel drive first Ferrari. Uh, lots of luggage space, uh, great for the family. You know, 3.7 seconds, over 200 miles an hour, 660 horsepower. Fantastic, I bet it sounds good as well. Incredible. Thought so, thank you. And now from uh, Romans International, we have Twisted. Mark, tell us a few words about Twisted, please. What can I tell you? It's uh, a very beautifully put together, over 180 man hours spent on a Land Rover Defender, rebuilt to look like this magnificent machine I'm driving today. Um, I think 180 man hours spent on it, so virtually rebuilt. Thanks a lot, Paul. Mark, so it's power, speed, durability, and above all, as you can see, very, very stylish. Thanks, Mark. And now we have Maserati with their 600... <laughs> Sorry, I'm blind. I knew it began with M anyway. Sorry. I'll start again. McLaren. With a 616 horsepower, 3.8 litre V8. Sounds amazing, I'm sure. Yeah. Lovely, the beautiful MP412C Spider. Thank you. Okay, this is the RXC. This is incredible. This, if you want a little go on a racetrack anytime, speak to the radical guys. I'll just give you some facts on this. Can you open the window without smacking me in the head, maybe? That'd be great. So, a few stats on this one. Uh, 950 kilograms, 
Uh, just short of 400 horsepower, so uh, seven speed paddle shift gearbox, um, a real Le Mans type experience for the road. And how much experience do you have to have really as a driver to get into one of these? Well I only passed my test yesterday and I've got round here without any problems. So. <laughs> He's only 16 by the way, but give him a round of applause, thank you. And now a couple of cars presented by Romans International again. Um, this one needs no introduction, the Bugatti Veyron. Tell me how, uh, how fast this one hits 60 though. 254, 1,001 uh, horsepower. 1,001 horsepower, 254 miles an hour top speed. 254, 254 and 0 to 60. 3.2 seconds, so you need to hold on for that. Thanks guys. Coming up now is the, um, again from Romans, is the McLaren 722 SLR, a very rare beast and a fantastic sounding one as well. Thanks, thanks guys. Okay, we have um, Hans now from Spiker. So this is the aileron, ladies and gentlemen. Um, comes in two options. 400 brake house horsepower is the standard. 500 is the option. Full aluminium body. Um, one of my favourites, Hans, from when we met years ago. Oh, um, yes. Uh, besides this car, we have a brand new car sitting there. So next year, we'll be sitting here in a different car. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. But the people that are here today, you missed three of the most wonderful, wonderful um, uh, days uh, for Salon Privé. It was absolutely... Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, David. Thank you, Hans. Much appreciated. Thank you for your support. Now, coming through, we have uh, a new client to Salon Privé, and again from the Netherlands. This is the Vence Saar. This is a mid-engine sports car with manual V8, 510 horsepower, available very soon in right-hand drive, but presented here in left-hand drive. There'll only be 10 built per year, has a fantastic power-to-weight to ratio, which makes it a, a, an absolute supercar in terms of uh, its performance figures. Thanks, Robert. Okay, now we have Lexus, and what have we got here? Uh, I was <laughs> just driving the car. Uh, basically, we have the we have the uh, what do we have? Let's get. I know it's the IF. Let's get. Let's keep the Lexuses going through. The IS three hundred H. Thank you. Followed that by the Lexus LS. This gives powerful performance, flawless lines, and the ultimate in sophistication. Thank you. A few words. Uh, this is the LS 600H, combining the primaries, uh, now with the kind of ultimate function. And tell me a little bit about the performance. Uh, performance is uh, sub six, six seconds, not 60, and respect for fuel. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And now again, another new client to Salon Privé this year, um, Ginetta. This is a great little car, this. This is the, the G40R, and basically when you buy into the G40R, you're not just buying a car. You're buying into a race series and a fully supported race program by Ginetta. So Ruth, a couple of words from you please. Hello, yeah, it's been great to be here. We've launched the GRDC. We made two sales before the show even opened. And the show's provided a great backdrop for the Ginetta lifestyle range, which you can talk to, to the girls behind. Fantastic, thank you Ruth. 
And following on behind it, we have the the uh, the Ginetta G60, Ginetta's very own supercar, driven by two very lovely women. from Audi, three cars on the Audi stand with a combined brake horsepower of I think just over 1500 horsepower. We've got the, the RS6 Avant here with amazing uh, paint job. What's the paint on this? It's a uh, matte finish, matte satin. Matte satin, wow. And what's the power on this one? 560. And 0 to 60 times? About four seconds. Yeah, the fastest way you'll get your kids to school. Thank you. And now the beautiful R8 Spider. A few, uh, few key points about this one. Uh, it's only the V8, the original engine we put in the car. 430 brake horsepower, four and a half seconds to 60. Fantastic. And again, a beautiful sounding one as well, I think. Exactly, there you go. And following on, the RS4 Avant. Again, one of our, another of Audi's super, super car performance estates. A few words on this one, please. Uh, 4.2 litre V8 Quattro does not 62 in uh, 4.7 seconds. And the top speed? Although it's a limited 155, but it will go a bit quicker than that. <laughs> you take the limiter off. Thanks ever so much. Cheers. Okay hey guys, this is the Rimac Concept One, uh, the world's fastest production electric vehicle. 1,088 brake horsepower. Is that right? Jesus. Top speed? Um, I would like to pass the mic. Yeah, 305 kilometers per hour top speed, limited. And uh, what, uh, what, about 80, 88 models was it produced? Yeah, well, the use of this particular car, only eight worldwide, and 88 of the second production version. Okay, and all for the European markets initially, is that right? No, worldwide. Worldwide, fantastic. So everybody, even the Chinese, get a chance to get one of these beautiful cars. Thank you, guys. Now coming up again, new client to Salon Privé. Great to see Infinity here. The model that Andrew is driving here now is the V8-powered FX Vettel, inspired by the, the man himself. This is a 5-litre, 420-horsepower four-door luxury car. Tell me a little bit about Andrew, please. Well, it's based on a production car that we have, and Sebastian Vettel has spent quite some time testing it, making recommendations, and here we have this car today, 0 to 60 in just over five seconds. Um, yeah, lots of carbon fibre, it's real carbon fibre. It's quite a machine. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And following behind it is the, is the three-litre diesel version um, for those fuel-conscious people. Next then, onto the not so red carpet anymore is the Buell. <laughs> um, uh, it says it minimalist design, um, no windscreen, flies in the teeth, gentlemen. <laughs> exactly, a completely new, different experience. Only 695 kilograms, dry weight, uh, 285 horsepower. So the power to weight ratio is just amazing. So it gives a 0 to 60 of what? Uh, 3.5. Wow, okay, incredible car. Um, monocoque chassis, 0 to 60, 3.5, top speed 150 miles an hour? Limited to 150. Limited to 150. I'm sure you're glad it is limited without that windscreen. Thank you very much. So now we have Rolls Royce and the beautiful, beautiful new Silver Wraith. Tell me a little bit about this car, please. Car has got a 6.6 .6 twin turbo litre, sorry, 6 litre twin turbo engine, V12, 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds, 24 brake horsepower. Wow, speeding star. This is the most powerful Rolls Royce ever built. And Not also the most powerful Rolls Royce ever built, but it just so happens this has won the award, ladies and gentlemen, the People's Choice for Grace and Pace. If you'd like to come out and accept your award.
Don't forget the champagne. <laughs> Absolutely not. Thank you very much. And following on behind, beautiful Rolls Royce Phantom. This is open air motoring at its absolute best. Tell us a little bit about this car. Well, it pretty much defies description, really. It's the best convertible car that you can buy. I would expect you to say that. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have um, now we have Infinity here, another Infinity. We have the Q50. Tell me a little bit about this one. <laughs> well, it's a brand new model. Um, very nice audio dashboard layout. Um, hopefully, we're going to do well with it. I hope you will. I hope you will. Thank you very much. Now, some of you may have seen this, probably most of you have, and this is an interesting car. This is Touring Superleggera um, from Italy. They are a Carazzeria, they're a, 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 a coach builder from Italy who are synonymous with some of the most amazing cars that have ever been built. This is the, the Flying Star, this is a shooting brake um, based on the Bentley GT. Tell me a little bit about it, please. Touring presented the car in yeah, Geneva yeah, Motor Show 2010. This is chassis number four out of the ever to be built 19 units of the car. The car is based on a GTC, the donor car, and the transformation allows the customer to uh, completely commission the back part of the car. It's fantastic. This is bespoke building at its very best. You can literally design this car with Touring to your own specifications. That's correct? Indeed, and fulfill all your dreams in a shooting ring. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, David. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all of the supercars done. Um, a beautiful array of, of machines. They're all very, very different. We're going to move on to the hypercars now, but just before we do that, to finish the parade, I just want to hand you over to Jose Torres just to say a few words. Well, uh, first of all, thank you all for coming. Uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day, who would say? Uh, it's the best way to close this three days event. It was amazing. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. It was really uh, intense for us, but very exciting. We are very happy to have all of you, uh, to have most of you coming and uh, getting to know a little bit of uh, Audemars Piguet, the only watchmaking uh, company still in the hands of the founding families. And uh, we're very happy and we hope you enjoyed today. Thank you very much. So now let's have, let's have Sweden's supercar. Presented by Super Vitura from Virginia Water. Um, these guys have known them for a long time. They're the official distributor and partner of Koenigsegg. This machine has 1160 horsepower, giving it a top speed of 278 miles an hour. And if you can hold on, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Paul, tell us a bit about the car. Um, well, it's uh, incredibly exclusive, one of only 14 a year made for the whole of the world. But this is actually the only one in the UK right hand drive currently. Uh, we have two more cars on order, but yeah, very, very exclusive ownership. Fantastic, and part of our newly introduced hypercar collection. Thank you, Paul. Following up now, presented by Bob Forster and Park Lane. We have the beautiful Roof Club Sport with again sensational figures similar, not too dissimilar from the, uh, from the Koenigsegg. Tell us a little bit about this in terms of performance. Uh, performance wise it has a 3.6 litre uh, flat six by turbo engine. Output. Output is about roughly just under 800 horsepower 
and the top speed depending on your gearbox but the standard one is about 238 miles per hour 0 to 60 roughly about three seconds fantastic so again blisteringly fast thank you very much And now, this, the Pagani Huara, this is just a sensational car. The design, the build quality on the outside, on the inside, is, is unmatched. Driven by its very, very proud owner, Peter Reed. This is chassis number 007, ordered specifically by Mr. Bond here himself. Um, bespoke build, Peter's a great fan of Pagani, knows Horacia very well, so they've worked together on, on putting this car together. It's the first one in the UK. Very, very low low weight, 1,350 kilos, high power, 730 horsepower, giving it a 0 to 60 in the very low threes, which again is just sensational performance. Peter, tell us about your very, very amazing toy. It's just a stunning piece of kit, and the attention to detail is amazing. Every nut and bolt has been made by Pagani with a Pagani logo on it for lightweight. Um, the reason they got down to 1,350 kilos is all the carbon fibre. Um, in the chassis itself, it's actually made of carbon titanium, which is the only car I believe at the moment that's got that in it. Superb. Thank you very much indeed. And Peter, before you go, I think you might need to get out of the car for something. So ladies and gentlemen, Peter has won the award for the most stylish hypercar 2013. Peter, congratulations. Well done, Peter. Congratulations. Thank you, Peter. one because it's electric this is the this is the hexagon this is a French car it is a hypercar it is a a, a a boutique car I'm gonna leave pass the mic over to the guys to explain this one because there is so much technology in here it's quite amazing thank you David um, this is a French haute couture that's the, way, the best way to describe it um, we've partnered with Siemens in terms of battery technology. We've partnered with SAFT, who make the, all the best battery satellites in the world, and design Rafale batteries. Um, and we've designed special um, tyre with Michelin. Um, due to the torque, it's a 400 uh, brake horsepower, uh, no to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Um, range of about 360 kilometers and with the extender we go up to about 750 um, what else to tell you uh, two years waiting list already of orders going into production next year thank you very much Christoph beautiful car Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, guys, one award that we wish to present. Please, George.
So, ladies and gentlemen, the final award of the day goes to the Vence Sarge for the most sensational supercar. Again, a People's Choice Award voted for by over 5,000 guests over the last three days. Many, many congratulations. Congratulations, Robert. Thanks, Robin. Congratulations. Um, thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that concludes the Audemars Piguet British Supercar Parade for this year. It also concludes Salon Privé. There is 20 minutes left. Typically, um, we've, we've had good links with God the last few days because we've had sunshine galore. So it's the way we started the event and opened and very fitting. <laughs> Thank you for that, Robin. <laughs> Robin, even. And uh, very fitting that we open the event with sunshine and very fitting that we close the event with sunshine. Guys, enjoy the last 20 minutes. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, everyone.